from as as long as I can remember. Married in 1940, they moved to San Diego in the early 70s. Mr. Tachka found another love. He would be waiting in the chair in the living room with his putter. Okay, I'm ready. He played every day at Balboa Golf Course until recently. Last month, uh, he must have fallen, broke his hip. His health took a turn for the worse. He's going fast. His children remember something their parents always used to say. They wanted to go in their own bed holding hands and in, and, each, other's and, and in each other's arms. So hospice brought a bed into their home and set it up right next to his beloved wife. She kept asking us, what is today? What is today? And we said it's June. And she said it's June 29th. And June 29th is their 75th wedding anniversary. The family went along with it, buying balloons and flowers to celebrate in bed. And we said, happy anniversary. And my mother was thrilled, thrilled to death, um, because it was their anniversary. And she knew that he was going and that they had made it to 75 years. When the family left, you could really see the change in his breathing. About 30 minutes passed. Even the hospice nurse said it was the most incredible thing to see the two of them taking those last breaths together. I knew she wasn't going to last too much longer. He died in her arms, which is exactly what he wanted. And when I went in there and I told my mother that he was gone, she hugged him and she said, see, this is what you wanted. You died in my arms and I love you. I love you and, I'll, and wait for me. I'll be there soon. It was tough. About 24 hours later, they both entered the pearly gates holding hands. I.T. Kamalanis, 10 News.